Good morning, tubers. Matt M. Roy back again. Back to with another unboxing and a quick review of this Maganon action camera that I purchased the other day from Aldi. I know, right? Why do I need another action cam? Well, yeah, I couldn't resist. I had been wanting to get a second one of these for a long time, mainly because there are certain instances where I want to have an action cam, but I don't necessarily want to bring my $500 GoPro Hero 5 out there. And this, I thought, was an excellent compromise. So I'm going to go over this with you real quick, and uh, then we'll go ahead and get some test footage. We're actually going to be going for a bike ride today, so I think that's going to be the perfect time for me to get some footage. We're going to go ahead and bike the path, the one we've done in the past, so hopefully you guys will enjoy this. So this I purchased uh, a couple of days ago from Aldi. Our local Aldi had it on sale for $59.99, so $60. And as you can see, it does include an 8 gigabyte memory card and an additional battery, which is a real plus. Now, 8 gigabytes is not a lot. It's going to be good enough for me to do a few tests, but if this winds up being as good as I think it is, I'm definitely going to go ahead and get a um, bigger card, probably 16 or 32 gigabytes. You can see we got Maganon Action Cam there. 4K Ultra Video, yes, this does do 4K, but I will show you one of the limitations of this cheaper camera. Waterproof up to 98 feet, and I kind of question that. I, I would not want to go that deep with it. I might go 10 or 15 feet, but when you get that deep, you get a lot of um, pressure built up, and I don't really don't think this camera would, um, would go that far. And of course, this one is nice. It has the 170 degree wide angle lens, so this would actually make for a very, very good um, dash cam. And I know that my friend Eric Brunhammer on YouTube has been using it for that purpose. And uh, I've actually seen some of the footage he got with it, and I was very impressed. Um, it does include uh, the app to control it. Uh, the app still work on the App Store and Google Play, so this is pretty much like the um, GoPro where you can control this with your cell phone, albeit if you have uh, Google and App and uh, Apple, sorry, no Windows <laughs> phone compatibility here. You have a um, after sales support and one thing I like about the Maganon products that Aldi sells they all come with a three-year warranty just like my Maganon battery bank came with a three-year warranty if anything goes wrong you just call this number and they'll go ahead and send you out a replacement turning to the side here you see we got Maganon action cam 4k video resolution 1340 by 1260. Now here's the caveat about that. You read that there? At 25 frames per second. My GoPro can do the 4K video at 60 frames per second. But that's okay. I'm really not going to be recording a lot of 4K video. Um, I believe this one can also do 1080p, which will be perfectly fine. And that will do at least 30 frames per second, which again is definitely good enough for what I need. Built-in Wi-Fi to edit and share your action in minutes. So basically what you can do is you can transfer the footage that you've taken with this to your cell phone and edit it right on the cell phone. I don't usually do it. I usually still use uh, Windows Movie Maker and should be fully compatible with that as well. Up to 90 minutes of video recording, probably with a bigger um, SD card. I think with an 8 gig, I'm lucky to get maybe an hour at um, 1080p, maybe even a little bit less. There's a 170 degree super wide angle lens. 2 inch LC display, which is nice. You can actually see what's, um, what's being displayed fairly clearly. And this actually has an HDMI uh, uh, plug on it. So basically with that you should be able to plug this in directly to a TV if you want to watch the footage that you had just captured. Now this is really cool. Look at everything this comes with. Underwater housing, two 1050 milliamp hour lithium ion batteries. That should be good for a long uh, life. Matter of fact, I believe those are stronger batteries than my GoPro Hero 5 has. Each one of those batteries should be good for at least two or three hours of recording time. Got the 8 gigabyte card the camera frame itself. It comes with a bicycle mount, a helmet, a belt support, holding clip, a 2.3 meter uh, adhesive pad, so basically if you want to stick it onto like a wooden surface or something like that. Uh, fuse cable, I'm not sure what that is. Uh, four cable ties to do your cable management. Four belts for belt restraint. USB cable, cleaning cloth, pouch, and of course your documentation. So you do get quite a bit with this cam camera. And you can see what this all looks like. The camera itself, the extra batteries, 
uh, the SD card, and then all of your accessories right here. So let's go ahead and open this thing up and see what it actually looks like. All right, well, it looks like in this case you open it up from the bottom, and let's see what the first thing to come out is. I may need to use two hands for this, but we'll see. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I think we're going to need two hands. Oh. Yep. I'm going to go ahead and put the camera down for a minute. Ah, there we go. Go ahead and start in here. Let's see what we got here. Okay, this is your cleaning cloth, your adhesive mounts, and your cable ties. Here it looks like we got some of those belt restraints that they were talking about. Here is your user manual, which looks pretty nice. I mean, you got a few different languages in there. Usually the ones for the Maginon are just kind of basic. Shows you how to turn it on, turn it off. Looks like the different uh, scene scenery modes. We'll go ahead and skip that. You guys can read that if and when you decide to purchase one. Um, this looks like one of the regular clips. And the cool thing is it appears that this uses the same type of mount that the GoPro does. So I'm hoping I can use the existing uh, bicycle mount that I already have on my bike with this camera as well. This is the waterproof housing for when you want to go underwater. You actually have to change it out to this one. You can see that it's solid plastic on there. All right. Let's see what we got here. We have the USB charging cable. This appears to be yep, US uh, micro USB, not USB 3.0 like the uh, GoPro Hero 5 and I like that cuz that drives me crazy trying to get all my USB 3.0 cables. Wow, look at all this stuff guys. Here is one of the batteries and it is indeed if you can read it there, I don't know if the camera is going to focus, 1050 milliamp hours. We have some more mounts here. Uh, this one looks, this one I believe is the bicycle mount right there. And yeah, I mean, we got a whole bunch of different mounts. Look at this one right here. This is for, you know what this is? This is for adding it on to a selfie stick or a tripod. See, it's got a tripod mount, and obviously the action cam just sits right in there. We're not done yet, guys, believe me. A couple more mounts there. I mean, this is crazy. Look at all these different mounts that you get in here. It is just nuts. And finally down to the SD card. So let me go ahead and put the camera down and we'll go ahead and pull the uh, action cam itself out, see if there is any battery power. And sliding here at the bottom is that little case to put all of those goodies in. All right, and here is the action cam, the Maginon 4K Ultra Wide HD action cam in all of its glory. So you got a very nice uh, large lens there. Couple of buttons here. I'll have to read and see what each one of these do. You got one in the front, which may be power. Then you got two on the side. Very similar to the GoPro in the way it opens. It should just pull open here. Man, very stiff. My GoPro was really stiff too when I first got it. Wow, that took a lot of force to get open, but it is open now. Go ahead and pull this back. And the way these work, this should just slide right out, just like that. And that is the actual cam itself when it's outside of its protective housing. Uh, you can see in front that this is the mode button. Right there you have your arrow keys up and down probably for selecting the menu. On this side you have your USB and HDMI connector and of course your micro SD port. Let's go ahead and put a battery in here and see if this actually works. Actually I think this may even have one in it. The battery compartment is right down here. Let's just go ahead and try to power this on, see if it comes on. Okay, so obviously if the battery is in there, which I think it is, it's probably dead. So let me go ahead and charge this thing up and then I will get back to you guys and we'll go ahead and get some really good footage with this. I must say I do not like the way they designed this battery cover. It's really cheap. You can see you actually have to push this little plastic piece in to get it off and it actually just goes on like that. Um, not my favorite design. A matter of fact, I don't see this particular cover lasting that long, especially with that little cheap plastic tab there, but we'll see what happens. It did indeed have a battery inside which I'm guessing is just totally dead. Probably they didn't charge it up. We'll go ahead and put this other battery in real quick and see if uh, if maybe this battery itself has some juice. Okay, that was my bad. Apparently the on button is right in front there. So yes, the first battery probably did have a charge, but as you can see, this is a really nice clear screen. 
Uh, there's no card in it right now, so you're not really going to see much of anything. But up there you have your time counter. Looks like it's in minutes, seconds, and milliseconds. Um, let's see if we got any other things here. Got a mode selector. Let's see what we can get there. Now it's selecting uh, 5 megapixel. This is for taking your picture. So obviously it has a 5 megapixel uh, CMOS sensor. Uh, let's see. And this is just the different modes up here for taking pictures, camera. Then you have your tools. And now we're back to the 1080p 30 frame per second setting. Uh, so let's go ahead. You know what? I'm going to go ahead and put the car in here. We're going to go on a little bike ride today and see how good of um, film this out. We'll go to video this actually takes. I might even try to take some pictures with it. I'm really curious to see how good mine come out because, uh, like I said, my friend YouTube user Eric Brunhammer has this exact camera and he's been very impressed with it so far. So let's go ahead and take this out and we'll get some nice footage and we'll see what you guys think. <coughs> Before I take this out, I thought I'd go in in settings and show you exactly the different resolutions that this can do. This can do 1080p at 60 frames per second, 1080p 30 frames per second, 4K at 25 frames per second, and 2.7K at 30 frames per second. So as long as you're not going to be recording a lot in 4K, I would say this is perfectly fine in the 1080p 60 frames per second mode. And that's what I'm going to go ahead and take this test footage at today. So this is the first video with the Maganon uh, camera. I'm here at our local um, bike path, the entrance on our side, which is called the Fuseville area. I'm going to show you guys some really cool things they've been doing here. Uh, they put a little picnic table. I'm not sure what happened. There's supposed to be one more uh, bench there, but a little picnic table that you can eat at. A little bike rack here to store your bikes when you are eating. Got a recycling in here for recycling though I could see not people have not been doing the right thing not all that stuff is recyclable at least in our area you have a little tire pump basically if your bike needs air what you do is you pump this one person pumps that and air comes out and blows up your bike tire they even have a nice stand here so you can actually steal your bike up there when you're working on it putting air and maybe putting your chain back on like what happened to me last time if you look here they have all kind of tools you might need. They have all different wrenches. They have a uh, ratchet set there, some Allen wrenches, and even a Phillips head screwdriver. So really awesome. You even have facilities here. They have one of these uh, sinks. Basically how you work this is you pump it with your foot, and water is supposed to come out, though maybe it's dried up at this point. But theoretically that's how that works. I guess that's how they add water to it. Now, let's see if this side works. Okay, this side works. And it's actually mixed with soap, so you would be able to clean your hands just fine. Over here, you get a little bit of information about the area, like a current events um, calendar. Very, very cool. And then right there, you have your porta potty facilities. So very nice to have this stuff. When you're done bike riding, you can come and have a little bit of rest. I can see mom's back here trying to get the bikes off. You having any luck? Oh yeah, she wants us to put some bug spray on. So we're going to go ahead and do that, and I'll get you guys some good footage of the bike path. 